Cubesters, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the beginner's method for the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Seven steps I'll be showing you of the 3x3 include the following. Cross, the first layer corners, how to insert the edges to finish off the first two layers, cross on the opposite side, how to solve the opposite side, and finally, would be permuting the corners and edges around the last layer of the cube. Let's get into it. As for solving the first two layers, there are going to be two more algorithms that you will need to learn, like I said in the last clip. One is to put the edge into the right side, and the other one will be to insert the edge into the left side. For this, you would want to hold the first layer that you've already built on the bottom, and if the corner, or sorry, the edge goes into the right side, like this one does, you can do the following algorithm. U, R, U prime, R prime, F, R prime, F prime, R. And as you can see, it paired the corner and edge up and inserted them. And for another one, this one would go to the left. You do the same thing, but on the left side. So it'd go like this. U prime, L prime, U, L, and as you can see, this part pairs the two up, and then you can insert it by doing F prime, L, F, L prime, and that fixes that. And if you have an edge like this, you can just do the algorithm. If it's on the right side, you can do the right hand algorithm, and that will take it out. And then it goes in the right, so you can do the right hand algorithm one more time, and that will fix that. And again, for this last corner, it would go to the left, so you can do the left hand algorithm. And that solves the first two layers. Now I'll be showing you how to make the cross on the opposite side, which for most people should be yellow. For solving the cross, luckily there are only three quick algorithms you should learn. One of them being the line case, the L case, and the dot case. You'll see what these all mean in a second. The line case is three of these in a row. This needs to be a line and you can ignore all other edges and corners for now. If you have the line case, you want to hold it horizontally and do this algorithm. F R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Or you can just remember it as F, the righty alg, and then F prime. The next case is the L case, where it makes the, uh, the shape of a small L, and you want to hold it in the bottom right corner, and you do this algorithm. Wide F, righty algorithm, wide F prime, and that solves the cross. And the last case is the dot case, which I'll show you in one moment. When you get the dot case, what you want to do is a mix of both algorithms. So first, you can do F, righty alg, F prime, also the, known as the line case, and that should get you an L, which then you can hold in the bottom right corner and do the lefty alg, or sorry, the um, L algorithm, and that should solve the cross. And next, I'm going to be showing you the eight cases that you have to learn to solve the yellow side. After you've solved the yellow cross, there are eight cases that you'll need to know to finish off the yellow side. Some of the algorithms are longer than others, but they will all come in handy later on. The first few algorithms are some of the most common, and some of them even have names, such as the one on my cube right now. This one looks like a fish shape, and this yellow corner, when the fish head is in the bottom left, is facing you. This algorithm is known as soon. To fix this case, you can do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that solves off the yellow side. Anti soon is the opposite of soon. And some people do it on the left side and some people do it differently. So I'll show you both ways. It's also the fish case, but this yellow corner is facing to the right side instead. So some people put the fish head in the bottom right and do a left soon, which is L prime, U prime, L, U prime, L prime, U2, L. But other people can also do it this way, like I do. Put the fish head in the top right corner and do this algorithm. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And as you can see, that finished off the yellow side. Another simple blower case, which I call the bow tie case, looks like a bow tie and it has two corners that need to be fixed. Hold the right corner. If you hold the cube like this, you want the right corner facing you and do this algorithm. F prime, wide R, U, 
r prime u prime wide r prime f r another simple case looks like this some people call it a rhino case because it looks like a body and two horns i don't really have a name for this case though for this algorithm you want to hold one of the corners that needs to be fixed on your left side facing you and do this algorithm wide r u r prime u prime wide r prime f r f prime and as you can see that also solved the yellow side this case is a little harder but this case is more commonly known as pi where two headlights are facing the same direction and two of them are facing the opposite direction so you want the opposite direction headlights facing you or you want one of them facing you and the two same way headlights on your left and you can do this algorithm to fix it r u2 r2 u prime r2 u prime r2 u2 r and that solves the yellow side this is probably the longest case but it does come in handy too this is this looks like the rhino case but instead these two headlights are facing you so you want the big block of six and back and the headlights facing you and do the following algorithm r2 d r prime u2 r d prime r prime u2 r prime and that also solved the yellow face after you finish solving the yellow side the next step and also one of the final steps is to fix around the yellow side to orient the edges and corners and for this i'm going to be teaching you a few algorithms the first step is to see if you have what are called headlights where there are two corners that have the same color and one is different or you might also end up with a bar of the same color if you have headlights or a bar of the same color you want to rotate the cube until it is in the back and then you can do this algorithm to fix it and set up the next four cases that i'll be teaching you r prime f r prime b2 r f prime r prime b2 r2 now there's going to be four cases i'll teach you to finish off the last layer including the h perm the z perm and also the two u perm and also this one probably my favorite case or one of my favorites is the h perm you can recognize this case when you line up the corners and you have four edges that swap oppositely so orange to red and red to orange blue to blue and green to green you can hold this from any corner or edge doesn't matter you would just have to fix afterwards but if you don't want to fix the top layer after you're done doing the algorithm just line up the corners for this case it goes like this and it is a little bit advanced but you should get used to it after a while m2 which is the middle layer u prime m2 u2 m2 to line this back up u prime to line this bar up and you can do r2 l2 to fix it or if you're more advanced you can just do an m2 for the z perm you can recognize this if you line up all the corners and there are two adjacent edges that need to swap you want to hold it with two edges that need to swap and you want to hold the left one facing you and this algorithm is also a little harder than the others but you should get used to it with some practice and time put into it and this algorithm goes like this m prime u prime m2 u prime m2 u prime m prime u2 m2 u and that fixes the z perm one of the u perms you can recognize by looking at the left and this has an opposite edge as to the corner as you can tell green is opposite of blue so for this case you can do it with l and u moves and it goes like this l prime u l prime u prime l prime u prime l prime u l prime u l2 and that fixes that u perm if you have the other u perm where the edge on the right is opposite from the corner you can do the same thing but on the right side with the algorithm being this r u prime 
R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R2. And that fixes that U prime. Well, thanks for watching my tutorial on the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like. And if you want more content like this, you can also turn on post notifications. If you do like my content, then you can subscribe and my socials will be in the description. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment them down below. Have a great day or night. Bye, Cubesters! Mm -hmm.